Okay, we, we, we didn't hear any music, so we just kind of yeah. got it thrown off here. But really? it is Painting the Town. Whoa, love it. Back for another show. Yeah. I'm, hey, I'm uh, John well, Kilda. I, and you are Alex Schaefer. Yeah. How about that? We are, uh, we're here. To paint we're the town. We're excited about painting. <laughs> yeah. You know, we, we, uh, we're going to have a, uh, we might have a guest, portrait guest, portrait guest. And uh, but so far it's not materialized, but we got we well, got some material anyway. We're waiting for the call. Yeah, right call now. now. Okay. Call now. But uh, if not, we have backup. We have backup. Of course. We and uh, we also have uh, we're still we're still going to paint a portrait. Yeah. But we also have a lot of stuff to go through. Uh, we we went out painting uh, mm -hmm. uh, in Malibu. Yeah, we got some great location videos. Now wait, do we want to talk first about uh, the fan art? Can't remember. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I mean, we went out painting in Malibu, and then uh, uh, you also did a little uh, small painting, too. Yeah, we did a little... Uh, and then we have some fan uh, fan uh, con contributions. Fan here. art already? Yes. It's unbelievable. Should, Look, can there, we it a, there, there it is. There it is. Whoa. They were really inspired by the uh, hands and bananas discussion of local color, and uh, Michaela and Tate... In Las Vegas, Nevada, Reno, 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 Nevada, sent us these beautiful <laughs> drawings of uh, uh, exhibiting local color there of uh, bananas and hands and then uh, blue jackets. Bravo, guys! Keep it up. Congratulations! We love that. Congratulations! We now, love if it. You, if you are inspired, so inspired by watching these shows, uh, contact us here uh, yeah. at unitedartscene.com, yes. and uh, we will we'll put the, your information up on the uh, on the bulletin board. Yeah, and then you can have your art displayed around the world on the internet on our show. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Well, uh, so uh, I don't know what, what what model we're gonna paint, yeah. but we did do some wonderful uh, outdoor painting, and up up here is uh, up uh, up here to present Alex's little ditty. Yeah, isn't this is, awesome? Look at look at this number. This is uh, this was a one hour painting, one hour parking. Uh, we went to a coffee shop in uh, Highland Park with our mini mini easel, all included. And uh, we made a short, little, fun video of this. And I think if we get our get the thing there, we can roll that <laughs> and enjoy that. Whoa, whoa! Look I don't know if I like the painting more, or or do I like the little easel more? I like them the both. Café de leche. We got one hour parking. It's so twenty four. We got coffee, soy milk, art supplies. We, ladies and gentlemen, are going to make a one hour painting. Look at that, it's the tiniest easel in town. Coffee, paint, glove, brush cleaner, palette, canvas, paper towels, brushes, and a fun view. Hey, it's my viewfinder, that's going to help me do some sketching. I like to draw a little bit in the beginning. But I don't get too detailed, and then I like to jump right into color. Twelve thirty-seven. We got plenty of time. Do do do. Plug it away. Plop. 120, uh-oh, better hurry! Okay, I ran into my friend Miriam. <laughs> boop a doo We're almost done. It's a one hour, one hour parking. Well, we ran over a little bit on our time, but fortunately we kept an eye out and the meter maid didn't come by, so we got our one hour and ten minute micro landscape <laughs> and coffee. single 
mono tripod. There you go, guys. It shows you what you can get done in an hour. If, even if you've only got an hour for your coffee break, you know, you can still fit, squeeze in some creative time, some painting time, and, uh, and enjoy the afternoon outside the studio. That's now, right. right. That's exactly right. Uh, time is of the essence, and it also, time is uh, expendable. Yeah. Uh, you can take all the time you want, or... Go as quickly as you want. It's up to you, <laughs> my friends. <laughs> uh, well, so that was fun. I, I think, I, I actually, I really like that small painting. In fact, I was thinking, if you did that on a larger scale, because of just sort of the simple geometric uh, shapes of that building, it, it might not have been as exciting for some reason. No, you're right. I mean, there's something about working on a, on a smaller painting. You can get away with kind of uh, mm -hmm. leaving things without uh, describing them completely. And uh, people don't expect a, 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 maybe a certain level of detail. You know, which is well, if you, if you, but it'd be fun to try that out or, or not. But uh, just go big with a big brush, as I like to say. Yeah. Uh, lots of paint and, uh, and try to... Because with a big brush, you can kind of duplicate the smaller right. uh, brushworks that what are really nice about a small. But then it is all relative because if you've got a uh, if you've got a little tiny six by nine inch canvas, <laughs> this might be a big brush. You know, we don't we don't know we don't know. Right, right, right. So that's always the problem when we go big. We go big with these paintings, and we got some big canvases here today. Yeah. And, uh, and we're going to paint an invisible model. And uh, this is the biggest brush I have, which is about a two-inch. Oh, Yeah, a two-inch brush. Look at that guy. Which, uh, honestly, I think we could even, I mean, if we could even go bigger. Ooh, it's still got some flexibility. It, it does. Uh, surprising, surprising. Yeah. Surprisingly, it does. It's not like a hard but, block. But, uh, but uh, even... Uh, if we if we thought about size and scale, this brush may be still too small for that for for that compared right. to your little small painting. Right now, potentially compare that brush with uh, the the challenge might look be at that now to paint with yes, this brush. Yeah, now I don't know they they need to zoom in, right? Is that the yeah, story? See, but look, look at that. Uh, but I think you could still do it. One one fell swoop, we could just could destroy this painting. Shall yeah. we do it? <laughs> uh, well, maybe not. No, I, I really like that painting. Congratulations. Bravo on Alex. Thank you. Now, you know, we have another shot of uh, another clip of us out in Malibu, but I wanted to talk about something related to a uh, master copy thing, just so we don't show another clip. We'll break it up in the middle with a, a quick talk about, because one of the things that you noticed in my video was using uh, one of these little viewfinder things, okay? And uh, we can kind of show how that operates. You know, if I kind of move this up here, it's like you look through it. And also you'll notice on this one, it's a special uh, job here. It's got a little crosshair, a little crosshair there in the middle. And you use that to help you comparatively find something. Now, let me very quickly get out this old master painting. This is going to be about a two-minute little talk here. All right, we remember this from last week. That was our... Uh, Basano copy, okay? Now, let me preface this very short little talk here with a quick reading from uh, Vincent van Gogh, okay? And it definitely relates to some of our philosophies about how we approach a painting, okay? And he's writing to his brother, and he says, the first two figures that I painted this year uh, were done in the way that I tried last year. Drawing them and then filling in the outline. That is what I'd like to call the dry manner. The other way is to make the drawing last of all. And first find the colors without caring too much about the drawing, only trying to put the colors in the right place. And then gradually make the form and the subdivisions of the colors more exactly. You see, the drawing and the color are two major aspects that go into the composition of the painting. But people are under the delusion for some reason that we have to do a very detailed drawing before we can begin to apply color. And what Vincent is saying from this quote is, we don't have to worry about the drawing in the beginning. You can just jump right into it. 